Today as well, 107 kilometres run from the Bayern Munich yeah. team, 97 or so or 98 kilometres from, 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 from the Barca team. <laughs> The commitment, mm. the, the willingness to run off the ball. We talked in this full talk, we highlighted uh, Goretzka before the game. Basic runs from midfield, hurting opposing midfielders. You played midfield, Owen. What is it like a midfielder running beyond you? It's all right when they stay there, like the Barcelona midfielders, but the Bayern midfielders running beyond you, hurting you, having to run back with them. Yeah. These things make it so difficult. It's a great point. You think about how good a football player Frankie de Jong is, yeah? He's a beautiful football player. Who was the better player today, Goretzka or Frankie de Jong? Frankie de Jong never hurt you at any point. He wants everything to feet. He wants easy. everything easy. Goretzka hurt you every time he's tackled. Stayed out of position the in a way as well, de Jong, on the left-hand side. He seems, he seems very, you know, not very comfortable in that position. They've got seems to have a lot of square pegs in round hole. Oh, we said that before the game. Yeah. Sergio Roberto and playing out wide. Frankie de Jong playing out wide. Vidal almost as a number ten. Busquets, he's not going to stop people in there. I mean, they'd had a lot of people playing positions that. They wouldn't normally, and normally Bars out football everyone. They couldn't out football by today. They can't do that. If, if Manchester City beat Lyon, they can't do that to them. Can they be different proposition, wouldn't they? Particularly if they played that high line. Owen I mean, said they, they, they're a perfect team. I understand what you're saying in some, some elements of it, but defensively, if I'm Raheem Sterling, Kevin De Bruyne, Definitely. Foden, etc., Aguero, if he's fit, I'm thinking, please get us past Leon because I see goals. If I, if I was playing that team, I'd see goals. It's a strange thing to say after an 8 2 victory against Barcelona, exactly. doesn't it? You're, you're picking out a few examples later. later. I'm sure we'll throw, show a few examples later of, of the high line that, that Bayern play. It, it's criminal. My, my school team didn't play like that. It Not was, without pressure on the ball, yeah, at least. Exactly. Yeah. So it, it, it's some of the stuff they've done where you think, but, but can they press as high? And, and win the ball as high and, and get the opportunities and goals that they got today if they don't play as high at a high line at the back. That's a, a conundrum I'm sure for the manager. Um, and that's what he, why one of the reasons I think they play so high, to win it as part of the pitch as they can. Yeah, let's uh, have a breathe and we'll look at that analysis and all the goals. That might take quite a while. <laughs> uh, well, just one club now stands between Bayern and the Champions League final. But will that club be Manchester City? Manchester City launch again their search for the missing one. The telling one. Manchester City are out of the Champions League. What a start for Tottenham Hotspur in Manchester. No, he's done it. He's been disallowed. Pep Guardiola can't believe it. It's a five-star show by Manchester City's five-star performers. the trophy they crave more than any and the one that has eluded them. Manchester City have the Champions League firmly in their sights, but they must earn their place in the semi-final uh, against Bayern Munich by beating Lyon, a task which shouldn't be taken lightly tomorrow 7pm, BT Sport 1 HD. I'm sure you want to join us. Uh, confirmation of um, that game there, Manchester City uh, versus Lyon. Uh, tomorrow night, look forward to that. Then, of course, you've got uh, the Europa League semi finals Spilly against Manchester United and uh, Inter Milan against Shakhtar Donetsk. Um, then we're back to the um, Champions League semi finals where we'll see um, Leipzig play uh, Paris Saint Germain on Tuesday, and then on Wednesday, either uh, Manchester City or Lyon against uh, Bayern Munich. And what a performance we've seen tonight from Bayern Munich. Goals, goals, and more goals. 8-2 against Barcelona. And a tough night for their coach and their master. This programme is brought to you...